Hello, I've taken a little break from doing reviews, a couple of weeks, but I'm back now and I've just had the pleasure of listening to John Paisano's score for Spider-Man 2. Now I wasn't taken with Paisano's first Spider-Man soundtrack, it just didn't do it for me, I just found it rather generic. And indeed those generic foundations continue, but I found the music for Spider-Man 2 to be far more satisfying. Now there are some obnoxious elements in the techno and sound design parts of this but mostly, or at least the first half of the score, I was quite taken in by it. It was, it was a good score. Not amazing but definitely an improvement over the original. I would say it's probably even better than Spider-Man Miles Morales as well. And so, Paisano, very interesting composer. I was knocked out by his work on Night at the Museum and Night of the Museum, Carmen Ra rises again, and I am absolutely stoked to hear what he's going to do for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes later in 2024. He started off a bit of a rocky start, I would say, as a composer. I mean, his work on like The Maze Runner, for example, wasn't incredible. It was very sort of sparse and anonymous, but he's sort of come into his own. He has found his groove, I would say. I think there's still room for improvement though. Thematically, he's not the strongest composer out there. I mean, you can find composers that are much, much better currently working. You know, even someone like, um, just off the top of my head, uh, even Ludwig Göransson. Okay, his work can be a tad, you know, just bland at times, but yes, he's good done some good stuff. Marco Beltrami is a little hit and miss, but, you know, still a composer. James Newton Howard has been... I liked his work on The Hunger Games, uh, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I, was, uh, I watched the movie, it was a long movie, but I did pick up on the music, and especially the woodwinds, and that were very good. But as I say, Paisano, room for improvement. Good score for Spider-Man 2. I haven't played the game. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think I want to. <laughs> there are elements in it that I just think have no place in any video game, you know, to do with like sort of gender or, you know, whatever, sexual preference or whatever, and it's just, you know, nobody cares. Nobody cares! <laughs> so, yeah, just, uh, and I kind of did the same thing with uh, God of War Ragnarok as well. You know, this, I don't get what they're, they're doing with these games. They're, they're, they're pushing ideologies that just aren't necessary in a video game. It's entertainment. You know, one's got nothing to do with the other. So you can you can make a, you just tell a good story, have good gameplay, appropriate music, you know, winner winner chicken dinner. I give Spider-Man 2 by John Paisano three out of five stars. It's not amazing, there's some good stuff. I would listen probably to the first half again because I enjoyed it the most. For more film and soundtrack reviews, please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website, Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook, you can find my pages, Hypnotic Movie Reviews, Book Reviews, and Soundtrack Reviews. I am Richard Jack Smith, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.